Sí, ¿qué hacemos? ¿Qué hacemos? Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, How everybody. Are you? Hello, good evening. Hello, Hi. Everybody. Great. Glad to see you. Thank you, Eden. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How was your weekend? Uh, I was studying in the platform and nice. advanced in the, huh, in the same. Some exercises, some sections. Yes. That's nice. Okay. And the rest, Mr. Escobar, Mr. Medina, Mr. Ayala, Ms. Monterrosa, and Mrs. De Paz. How was your weekend? Fine, teacher. I, I try to do the exercise. Nice. Session one. Session one completed. And two. One and two. Okay, yeah. great. That's good news. <laughs> That's really good news. Okay, somebody else? Uh -huh. Welcome. Welcome to our class tonight. Oh my God, let me just get something from here to connect the computer. Okay. Well, this hey, is. Thank the... you, teacher. Hey. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Tell us about your weekend. Well, well, I, I rest. You rested? Yeah. Yeah. It was nice. It was great. You had a good yeah. weekend. I, I went. I went to uh, the church. You went to with church. my family. Nice. All right. Uh, I study. I study. Now you study. Yeah. Okay. You studied English. Completed the exercises. Um. Yes, English. Uh, some song exercise. Some exercises. I, you completed yeah. some exercises. That's good. That uh, I studied at, at, at the university. Oh, really? So, um, so you yeah. also go to university on the weekends? Um, it's uh, Saturday. On Saturday. All Saturday. day? Afternoon. afternoon. Only in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm, nice. The afternoon. Great. Somebody else? Yeah. Don't be shy. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> Share. Share what you did over the weekend. Well, on Saturday, uh, I used to work on Saturdays, not anymore. So now on Saturdays, I take my time to get up late to prepare myself for breakfast because I don't usually prepare breakfast. I usually grab a sandwich and, and a cup of coffee and I run to work. So on Saturday, I take my time. I do nice scrambled eggs with ham or with a spinach or anything else I want. And then, well, I completed some reports I, I had to complete. Then in the afternoon, I went out for a cup of coffee with a friend and I returned and I wanted to go. Oh, well, yeah, I went to the supermarket, but I went to one supermarket and it was full. So I went to another one. <laughs> yes, this weekend was crazy. Well, actually, Friday, Saturday and today traffic has been horrendous. So, mm. yeah, I went to... Oh yeah, I had I had breakfast on Sundays with another friend and her family, and then I went to the to the beauty salon. It's impossible to notice, but I went. <laughs> it's kind.
kind of difficult to notice that. You look pretty. Thank you. <laughs> so I needed a little bit of relax. And then I came back. I was working on another um, questionnaire. You know, those, those are activities from work, but I have to do them. Oh, yes. Did you eat pupusa for dinner? For sure. That's a must. But my husband had to wait for the pupusa for about two hours because the pupuseria was full. So it was crazy. When he came back with the pupusa, I was not hungry anymore. I said, I don't want those pupusas anymore. <laughs> but at the end, I ended up eating them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Somebody else? Uh huh. One more. The shy people in the class have to talk. On Saturday, teacher, I work in the morning until no, uh, no, until about three p.m. Okay, because I attended uh a nineteen nineteen patients. patients. Oh my God, it's a lot. Yeah, many. Yeah. You worked really yeah, hard on Saturday. Much. Yes, and I was uh, having my lunch uh, at 4 p.m. Oh, my goodness. Did you have a good breakfast? Uh, yeah. Yes. Thank I God. <laughs> Thank God, because <laughs> if you didn't have any good breakfast, I mean, you cannot stand it until 3 or 4 p.m. It's pretty late. Mm. Okay. Wow, you are a very hardworking no person but I, but i was very happy ah, that's great <laughs> thank thank to those people that still exist in our country <laughs> if not imagine how difficult this would be all right well it's time to start let's get started okay here we go this is our class number four right well, on Friday we have classes, so that's why we are in the class number four already. Huh. The, actually, this is a very nice program. I like it because every other class you have a new structure. So the first class in the second class, I, oh no, just the first one, I think we studied the passive voice in simple past. Then we studied the passive voice in simple present. Then we studied the past continuous versus the simple past. And now we're going to be studying the present perfect continuous. Okay? These are very nice structures in English for us to communicate properly. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. There's this conversation, an interesting conversation. Just by looking at the title of the conversation, you can spot and identify the structure that we're going to be studying, right? What have you been doing? Very similar to Spanish. Que has estado haciendo, right? So people usually say, oh, what have you been doing lately? What have you? What have, what have you been doing? You know, like when people tend to sound more fluent, they kind of contract what and have. But if you cannot contract it, I mean, it's not that you're going to have a contraction. It's that people tend to, to pronounce it like together, right? But if you cannot do that, there's not a problem. What have you been doing? What have you been doing these days? What have you been doing lately? What have you been doing this week? What have you been doing recently, right? So, ¿qué has estado haciendo últimamente? That is the common question people ask when they want to use this structure. And the conversation says, hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. In ages, it's not literal. It's figurative language, right? What have, what have you, okay, I haven't seen you in ages, like, como no te he visto en décadas, en años, right? So, what have you been doing lately? And the person answers, nothing exciting. I've been working to job for the last six months. Of course, that's why probably the other person hasn't seen Gina, right? Uh, how come? How come is another way to say why? Uh, 
I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. <laughs> okay, I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting anywhere. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Oh, this is very similar to the conversation we practiced right the other day. <laughs> okay, so let me just put this up right here. Let me, let me get this thing because I love the spotlight. And let's practice again. Sorry if you see my students are still checking. Okay, hey Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. Mm -hmm. And the answer? Oh no, I still continue. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's good exciting. Evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've, if you see the contraction I have, right? I've only been spending money. I've have, so I've is the contraction I have only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. All right. Is there any expression that you want to have explained it before we go and practice? Is there anything that makes no sense to, to you or something new, something weird? Pursuing. This Pursuing. Pursuing is like I've been trying to get. I am be, I, like the pursuit of happiness. Did you see that movie? With yes. our famous actor, actor Will Smith. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the pursuit of happiness. So I've been pursuing. It's like it's estado buscando. Some people pursue the, the American dream. And they go to the United States illegally. Right? right they say they look for that job they try to get that i mean they try to get that dream that is the pursuing anything yes. else something else what the meaning is only only being spending money i've only been spending money so <laughs> I've been spending money. Yeah, actually, when when that happens, sometimes the we don't have a job, and we are only spending, spending, spending. Like, oh, I've been only spending money, but I haven't made any money. I haven't earned any money. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Or no saving, just a spending. <laughs> I have been spending money. I've only been spending money. And I almost out of money is the same or similar. Running out of cash. Yeah, uh -huh. ya me estoy quedando sin uh -huh. I'm running out of money. I'm, yeah, I'm almost out of money. Ya me estoy quedando sin dinero. Casi sin dinero. Like almost out of money. Yeah, almost nothing. Ya me queda muy poco dinero, <laughs> probably. I mean, for the money, yeah. When when you get to the to the end of the month, you say, "I'm almost out of money." Que paguen, dice. Please pay. Yes. And it's worse when the month is long, and you're like, "Oh, I'm almost out of money." Something yes. else? No more. Sure. Okay, I'll share this screen, this screenshot with you so that you can practice with your partner. Let me just okay. do it, okay? Uh, try to identify the sentences and the questions in the present perfect continuous or present perfect progressive, okay? That is the idea. Let me get the breakout rooms. I'm gonna make 
All right, probably you're gonna be in trio so that you can uh, take turns practicing, all right? Yeah. All right. Perfect. Chair. Hi, what happened? Yes. understand Eh, eh, no sé si entendí que tenemos que ver como un ejemplo o identificar o, o hacer nosotros nuestras propias oraciones o nuestra conversación con el presente practice, continuo. Practice the conversation and after you practice, oh, okay. you identify the sentences and the question in the conversation. Ok, thank you. Thank you. All I am pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I, I graduated, I, I haven't been uh, getting any work. I need a job some. I am going to use our own money. OK. OK, let's see. Um, cambiamos. O oh, ahora quiero ver quién no ha participado. Eh, ay. Ok. Yo decido quién es y eh, el otro, o yo, de, somos la otra persona. Ok. Ok, I am Peter. O Peter. Ok. Eh, eh, ¿Quién quiere que participe con usted, Eduardo o yo? Cualquiera, no hay problema. Ok, si quiere Eduardo, porque como yo ya hice la parte de Gina, eight. <laughs> ok, ¿Yo um, start? The yes. Okay. Yes. I Peter, o oh, oh, what? Uh, Pete. Ok. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in August. What have you been doing lately? Uh, nothing exciting. I have been working to job for the last six months. How come? Uh, you, Myra? Um, I am Gina. I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Okay. Well, what's exciting? Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I'm only spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I have been getting any work. I need a job done. I'm almost up of money. Okay. And okay. They, identify, they identify the sentence for the 
pas con pas pas do sí. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to for uh, to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, got ready. But I haven't been getting any work. I need a job, son. I almost out of money. Oh, really excellent. <laughs> ah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and now. Again. And me. Since I graduated, but I haven't seen getting any work. I need a job soon. I almost out of money. Okay. Now, uh, Juliana. Make, make it again. Hey, again, Gina. Okay. I haven't seen you in days. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving out of money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I am almost out of money. Okay. Liliana? Okay. Okay. You can practice. I don't, uh, I don't know if Patricia can, uh, 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 you want to practice with Liliana or? or no, or you... <laughs> you... Hello. Hello. Well, I other other thing is mm -hmm. a question. What have you been doing lately? But usted puede. Este, si se fijan todos los videos le dejan como tareas pequeñitas, como uh, piensa en dos oraciones y uh, ponla en su discussion box. Entonces allí usted puede ponerlas para ver qué tanto ha, ha absorbido eso. Entonces, oh. así, ajá. No son obligatorias, pero sí son educativas. No sé, sí, claro, claro, claro. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Eh. Podemos hacer la ronda de. Ok, entonces yo soy Gina y necesito un Peter. Ajá. ¿A un Pit? No, en Speed, no es Peter. Vale, uh, yo Peter, va. Ah, yo, yo ya, ya había, ya había sido Pit. Ah, Pit, Pit. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo había sido Pit. Yo ya había sido Gina, pero hay que regresar. Ok, va, va, va nuevamente, ok. Pit. Hey Gina, I haven't seen you. In Irish, what have you been doing lately? Nothing exactly. I've been working to job for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I only have been spending money. I am pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, I, Bob, I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. 
I am almost of out of money. Out of money, okay. Ahora, usted es Gina y quiero ver Carlos. Sería Pete. Pete. Uh -huh. Okay. Did you identify the sentences in present perfect continuous? Yeah. Uh -huh. Have been doing, have been working, have been spending. Have or has, right? It depends. Oh. Mm -hmm. I've only been spending money. Right. Uh, I haven't been getting any work. Mm -hmm. There are some questions too. Um, I haven't been getting. Mm -hmm. I haven't been getting any work. What have you been doing lately? What have you been doing lately? Exactly. Uh, repeat, uh, please, teacher, uh, the past. Present perfect continuous. That is okay. the structure, yes. Thank you. Friends. All right. You already finished, right? Yes. Yeah. You've been working hard. Uh-huh. What is the first question or sentence that is in present perfect continuous? Maybe I haven't seen I you, haven't in, seen you in, ages. in ages. I haven't seen you in ages is present perfect, you. yes. But present perfect continuous. Oh, okay. Ah, what have you been doing lately? Exactly. That I have been perfect. working two jobs. What, what have you been, been doing, doing lately? You see, we need what this have, have been in the verb in ing. Yes. In ing. Mm -hmm. Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs. Is that present perfect continuous? That that's another. Yes. I have been working. Yes. I've exactly. been working. I've been working. Oh no, my my pen is kind of difficult mm -hmm. to handle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I've contraction of I have right. Mm -hmm. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. All right. Any other? I've only. I've only been spending money. Okay. Any other before that one? I'm saving up money. No, right? That is. No. Uh -huh. I am. That's I, present continuous. I am. I, uh -huh. I've only been spending money. I've only been, uh, spending, I've only been money. spending money. That's right. Uh -huh. We need have been and spending oh, oh, in the verb in ing, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, really. How long have you been modeling? How long, 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 have, you been long have you been modeling? How long <laughs> is the expression for time? Quarter, quarters. <laughs> <It's a> quarters. <laughs> yes, have you been modeling? That's right. That's another question. Uh huh. Since I graduated, but I haven't, but I haven't been, been getting, getting, any, been getting work. Work. any work. I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. 
Okay, great. So we have one, two, three, four, five, right? Questions and sentences. Affirmative and negative sentences, right? Okay, mm -hmm. first one. What have you been doing lately? It's a question. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. This is affirmative sentence, right? Okay. I've only been spending money, another affirmative sentence. How long have you been modeling? It's a question. I haven't been getting any work. That is a negative sentence, right? I haven't been getting any work. I haven't, yes. Negative, have not, right? All right, let's clear these things. Okay, let's continue. This is a structure for the present perfect continuous tense, right? We need the subject, the auxiliary, can be have or has, depending on the subject. I, you, we, they have, but he, she, it has, right? Mm -hmm. Then yes. we need been and the verb in ing, the main verb right the action verb so here we have affirmative sentences subject has or have been and the verb in ing structure yes subject plus has have plus be plus been yes plus it has to be, be been have or has been playing been. football mm -hmm. he has been playing football been. for two hours has been playing Nice. And the negative, we only add not to has or to have, right? Mm -hmm. And we can say the contraction, hasn't or haven't. Then been and then the verb in ing. He has not been playing football for two hours. So he hasn't been playing football for two hours. And the question depends. If you have a yes no questions, have you been visiting the doctor lately? Have you been exercising this week? Have you been working on the project? Have you been talking to your parents? Yes. But if it is a yes, no question. But if it is a information question, how long have you been? Yes. How long have you been working on that job? Yes. How long means time? Yes. What have you been doing this week? or lately, or these days, right? So that is the structure. Then we have some examples. She has not been sleeping. Imagine she has had insomnia. She has not been sleeping. Well, I have been walking since this morning when there's traffic. Some people start walking and they say, oh, I've been walking since this morning. Amul has been writing essays for last two hours. He's been writing an essay. He's been writing a report. Child has been playing. Yeah. The child's been playing games since the evening. Yeah. Has he been living in this house? They have been plowing in the field, plowing in the fields for five hours. Yeah, he has been doing exercise since this morning. Jamie has not been playing football. He has been waiting for me for an hour. He said, oh, how long have you been waiting? I've been waiting for about 30 minutes. <laughs> okay. I've been traveling. Oh, yeah, I wish. I've been traveling since 2017. <laughs> that would be five years traveling. So when do we use the present perfect continuous? To emphasize the duration of, a time, of an action, sorry. So how long an action has lasted, right? So I've been learning French since I went to school. I've been studying English. I've been learning English for, for a year, for three months, for six months. I've been studying. I've been learning English, right? I've been attending classes. I've been practicing. I've usually is contracted. I have. I've been, yes? Okay, to express anger or irritation. Let me just move this. So it says, uh, why have you been disturbing me? Why have you been doing that? Why haven't you been completing your homework, right? <laughs> to express that you're not happy about something. And time bounds expression. Since, for, lately, how long? These are the most common expression, time expressions 
for the present perfect continuous. He has been watching TV for two hours for that period of time. Yes? He has been smoking since 2015. It's a long time. All right, so these are some of the examples. And now, give me one second. I just need to get something else right here. Pretty quick. Oh, yes. Here I have an exercise. Let me just share the screen one more time. Okay. Instead, okay, these sentences have two options. You have to choose, okay, you have two options separated by a slanted bar. So you have to choose which tense sounds better. Choose the correct option. My sister has had or has been having a shower for 20 minutes. The floor is still wet, right? So you have two options and you have to decide which sounds better. In some cases, the present perfect normal sounds correct and it's fine, no problem. But if the action has been taking place for a period in progress or for a longer time, then we use the present perfect continuous. Is that clear? Yes? Yes. All right, let's work on this. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Um, okay. Then start the exercise. Yes. Okay. My sister. Uh -huh. um, I think it has been has been having a shower for twenty minutes. The floor is still wet. Still wet. Okay. I think that it's okay. In the second item, I haven't seen you for age. I think it's haven't seen. What do you think? I don't, I don't, I... Yes, I haven't seen. I haven't seen. Okay. Hello, Rosaluz. Hello. Okay, let's go to the sin. Tendría que ir antes el bien, no después del sin. O sea, solo puedo utilizar la opción de haven't seen o de haven't been sitting. Que es progresivo. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Um, lo, Usted dijo de que se utilizaba el, eh, este, el progresivo, ¿cómo sería? El ¿cómo Present sería? perfect progressive. Present perfect progressive. Yes. Pero con periodos de tiempo. Pero, por ejemplo, aquí dice you for age. Pero no for ages. For yes. ages. I haven't seen you for ages. I haven't been seeing you for ages. ¿Qué le suena más normal? Mm. No te he visto en décadas o no te estoy I, viendo uh, en décadas. I haven't seen you for age. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Ok, entonces los periodos de tiempo que se utilizan por lo general no son tan extendidos, ¿verdad? No, que han estado ejemplo? ocurriendo recientemente. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Que han estado en progress. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. All right. Okay. The three that uh -huh, is Mitchell. But in the in the present perfect continuous is the use being with the verb continuous. Yeah. But what happened for the time? For example, you we have three months. Uh -huh. uh, what did she say about it? Yes, but in the the, the example uh, last, uh, Gina, I have been working to job for the last six months. Está hablando igual del pasado. Mm -hmm. And the number one, my sister, como mi hermana ha tenido un, un shower, una ducha, una, una, una ducha por 20 minutos. Ajá. Y dice, ha tenido. O sea, uh -huh. I think, but, but, but I don't know. Teacher, I confuse. We has confused. been taking a shower. It means que se ha estado bañando por ese tiempo. Se ha estado bañando. Right. Has been taking. having. Has been having a shower. Has been taking a shower. Would be the same. Okay. Teacher, when you use the, the has, has. When you use has, has. Has, has. Has for he, she, it. Have for I, you, we, they. And the, the, ta, the, el tiempo, I'm sorry. <laughs> if the action has been in progress recently, then you use present perfect continuous. But if the action has finished, you use just present perfect. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, and the number one is the finish. The action is my sister has, has. has, they, has had a shower. Is he? Mm -hmm. The floor is still wet. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I. But when we say the floor is still wet, it's because it because it's um, still in progress. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Actually, it could be both. In that case, what sounds more natural is has been taking a shower, has been had, has been having a shower. Okay. For 20 okay. minutes. Yes. Okay. And number two, high Tom. See, hi Tom. I haven't been seeing you for hours. Okay. I haven't seen you or I haven't been seeing you. Cuando usted ve a alguien no es que lo está viendo siempre, ¿verdad? No puede ser un progresivo, sino que es como, no te he visto en, en años, le dice alguien. I haven't seen you in ages. No te he visto. No te he visto, pero entonces sí sería ING. Sin. Mm, the first no. one. Haven't the first seen. One because I haven't been seeing you. Como no te he estado viendo. Pero cuando uno ve a alguien, no necesariamente lo, lo queda viendo. ¿no? La acción no está continua. Oh, mm -hmm. in progress, right? I haven't seen. Uh huh. You when you see somebody after six months, for example, okay. you say, Oh, I haven't seen you in ages. Okay. All right. Two. Okay. And the third. I have. No, don't, don't teacher. All right, perfect, no problem. We're gonna compare. Okay. Yes. Okay, ah, yeah.
I see the rest are still working. <laughs> <laughs> Luis, Luis Melgar, Liliana, and I, we was uh, very fast. <laughs> I see. <laughs> the, other, the other ones are not going to be happy. <laughs> Luis Archimedes, you was very ha uh, fast too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I see. <laughs> Did you finish? Adriana Rosaluz, help me. <laughs> were you able to finish the exercise or you were still working on it? We finished the, the exercise. Nice. Okay, let's see. Let's compare. Okay. One second, please. I need to move this somewhere else. And I need to get the drawings. Mm -hmm. Yes, this one. Okay. My sister has had, or my sister has been having a shower for 20 minutes, which sounds has more logical having, to you. My sister has been, been having a shower. For has been minutes. having a shower. She has for... been an action in progress recently, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. she's been having a shower. Okay. Having a shower for, for 20, 20 minutes. minutes. The floor is still wet. Hi, Tom. I haven't seen. I you. haven't. Or I haven't been I seen. Haven't seen. I haven't I seen. I haven't been seen. I haven't seen you seen. for ages. I haven't seen you. No te vi. Uh, oh, en años. Uh, no. I haven't seen. Ah, okay. Perfecto. <laughs> I haven't seen you in ages. For ages. Ages, obviously, es el de decía sentido figurado. No es que han pasado de cada. Y usted no ha visto a alguien. <laughs> Obviously, if you miss somebody and you don't miss the person in six months, and then you say, oh, my God, I haven't seen you in ages or for ages, right? Okay. Michael has learned or has been learning French for three months, and he loves it. Has been learning. He's been learning, learning. He's been learning French for three months, and he loves it. Melissa. Has been buying a new dress for the party. Okay, has been buying a new dress or has bought a new dress? What has bought, bought. bought? Yeah, you just has, buy something has and, been the, and the action is completed, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe she has been shopping yes. for three hours to buy a new dress. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, that what happens. are you doing? Yeah, that happens. <laughs> what are you doing? I have watched or I have been watching television since I arrived. I, I have been watching, watching television. television. I have been, I, I I've been watching television okay. since I arrived. <laughs> Do you like my living room? I have put or I have been putting new curtains? I have been putting new curtains. I have put. Okay, so you just finished. You put the new curtains and the curtains are put already. Yes, the action is over. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not very well. I have been or I have been... Sorry. I have been or I have been, been to the doctor. I have been. I have been. I have been been. Actually, this doesn't sound very natural. You say, I have been to the doctor twice this week. He estado donde el doctor o he ido donde el doctor dos veces en esta semana. Yes, I have been to the doctor twice. I have been I have been to the doctor twice this week. Sorry, I'm late. How long? Have you How sat? long have, have you been, been sitting? sitting here? Have you been sitting here? How long have you been sitting here? Carol has seen or has been seen this film many times. She loves it. Has, has been seen. Has been seen. Carol ha visto esta película muchas veces o ha estado viendo esta película muchas veces? Has been seen. 
Has been seen. Has seen. Has seen. La ha visto varias veces. O sea, y la puede volver a ver. Has seen this film so many times. Right. Has seen this film so many times. And she loves it. Yeah. Yeah, que dijera. Ah, Caro has been seeing this film three times today. Yeah, probably. Right? But here it doesn't say when. He's a good dancer. Can anybody help us with the microphones, please? Thank you. All right. She's a good dancer. She has won or she has been winning two championships already. She has won. She has won. She has won. She has won. Porque dice, she has ya won. ha ganado yeah. already. Okay. She has won. Okay. Okay. Sam is not here. He's gone. He has no. traveled or he's been traveling for months. Mm -hmm. Has been traveling. Mm -hmm. Has been traveling for months. Right. Look at my jacket. I've had or I have been having it for only three days. I have been having. I have had. Yeah, I have had it only for three days. So I let the needle for three days. Yeah, this sounds more logical. Yes, this is the combination. I know this exercise is a little bit harder because it's not just the present perfect continuous. It's in combination with the present perfect, right? So that's why it makes it a little bit more challenging. All right. Let's see, let's draw this in one second. All right. Questions? Is there any questions? Who, who is so noisy? <laughs> This is my question now. <laughs> yeah, there's some interference in someone's house. <laughs> Someone is watching television. All right. And everybody hear the noise. True. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Thank you. Tell, Tell me about, about it. it. Mm -hmm. wow. Take turns asking these questions in four more of your own. Obviously, here you can add some more questions, right? Then ask for further information. Let me just move this right here. Okay. Have you been working out lately? Have you been learning a new hobby lately? Lately, recently, these days, any other expression, right? But recently these last two weeks or this last two months but not four years ago right so have you been working long hours lately have you been taking driving lessons lately have you been reading any interesting book lately have you been doing anything unusual lately recently <laughs> these days have you been traveling this this month or this last two weeks? Taking any less. Yes. Have you been have you been dating you someone new? Mm, this is something interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you been working out lately? Yes, I have. I've been going to a gym. Really? What kind of exercises do you do there? Or have you been doing there? Right? I usually take aerobics classes, but sometimes I swim. Because we don't have much time, we're not going to go and do this exercise in the breakout room. But somebody has been working out. Say, yes, I've been working out. Nobody? Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. And then nobody has been working out. Like, <laughs> my goodness. Yes, yes. Has anybody Someone. been learning a new hobby? No. <laughs> no. The normal. Long hours, no, no. The usual. <laughs> so nobody has been learning any new hobby. Has anybody been working long hours? Yes. My yes. <laughs> I've been working long hours lately. Yes. I've been working more than usual lately. I've been work I've yes. been even taking work home sometimes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so most of the people in the class have been working long hours, extra hours. 
Has anybody been taking driving lessons? Nobody? No. Nobody. Everybody knows how to how to drive already. Okay. <laughs> Has anybody yes been reading any interesting book? Uh, no, not recently. Not recently. Not recently. Okay, I haven't been reading any interesting book recently, right? Have you? I mean, has yes. Anybody from the class been doing anything unusual? What could be anything unusual? Playing ping pong, <laughs> planting <laughs> flowers. <laughs> Have you been planting flowers? And you say, oh, no, that's not usual for me. <laughs> okay. Or decorating with, what do you call this? Ah, uh, I Sha shower my dogs. I think, <laughs> yeah, I've been giving a shower to my dog. That's not something usual. Mm -hmm. Oh. How do you call these drawings from India that are so colorful and beautiful? I, I forgot know. the name. I have Alzheimer already. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Mandalas. Mandala. Exactly. Mandala. Have you been decorating your tables with mandalas? That's something mm -hmm. unusual. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you been traveling? No. Not recently. Not no. recently because of the pandemic. I haven't been traveling either. All right. Yes. <laughs> and the last one, <clears throat> top secret. So <laughs> we won't ask you. <laughs> 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 okay. That's your private life. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for attending. It's time to say goodbye and good night. 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 Good night.